Yes, we are here with the Vortex Defender XL, the newest red dot from Vortex. We've got a special guest on the range today. We have Dakota Bell. Hi. Dakota Bell is a wonderful shooter, master class now. Yeah. Couple GM. Edge and GM. Edging. Edging. He's edging hard. Talented shooter. I've known him for years now. He used to help me teach, shoot a lot of matches together. I remember when we first met, took one of my classes back in the day. And this kid was bugging me on the DMs. Let's practice, let's practice, let's practice. It was during COVID. And I was like, let's go up there to the mountains. Which we can't see because the berm's too high. Um, and we set up one target and you're like, where's where's the rest of it? And I was like, we can get a good practice in with one target, which is a video we're going to be filming later on for you indoor range people, because you don't have a wonderful desert to shoot in. Absolutely. Where you can get a full practice session just on one target in a simulated single lane shooting range. Yep. A lot of practices like that. Absolutely. Dial in your skill. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the new Vortex Optic. This is their competition red dot of their Defender series. So there's the Defender CCW, which is a small boy, the Defender ST, which is a medium boy, and then the Defender XL, which is the big sexy. Okay. <sighs> Stop. First impressions, I like what it is. I haven't put a single round on these optics yet. Okay. I've got a decent amount of round on the STs, maybe a few thousand rounds. Um, and so we're pretty excited. What we have them equipped to today is we have the new Smith & Wesson Carry Comp Metal. Uh, pretty cool, it's got a factory port on the barrel and uh, completely stock Smith & Wesson, just with the Vortex Optic. And then we've got a five inch performance center, m and 9 apex trigger, apex barrel. A um, Little bit of grip work done, uh, but again, these pretty similar guns, just five inch, uh, four and a quarter with a port, both with the Defender XLs. Per usual, we're gonna take you through some drills. We're gonna talk about it. We'll get into some of the features on the dot, but first things first, we need to zero both of these guns. All right, four shots, let's go check it. These two down here, these were our first two shots. This is a two shot group on that paster right here. Really just coming down to trigger press, you still need to have a good trigger press on this ransom rest. It does not pull the trigger for you, but these guns are zeroed. Now it's time to put them to work. First things first, we're gonna just rip some single shot draws on some pepper poppers that we got down range, some mini poppers. It's about 12 yards away. And we're just gonna get into it. Coda's up first. Shoot it ready. Stand by. 145. Stand by. Oh. 271, what happened? Had a bit of a weird, uh, weird grip coming out. Okay. The window on the XL is much larger than my SRO, so I was searching for it a little bit. Just gonna get used to it. Let's try that again. Stand by. There we go, 151. Let's see if we can break 150. Stand by. 126, look at that. All right, let's do one more. Stand by. 129, give me a pop pop. Stand by. Oh, again, stand by. There you go, 171. Shoot ready, stand by. Oh, 121. Stand by. 122. Stand by. Whew. 123, very consistent. Stand by. 122. Look at that. I mean, those are all within a thousand. Let me do a little bump up. Stand by. Oh, bad grip. Bad grip. My hands are already starting to sweat. I don't know if you can see my shirt already. We've been out here for 10 minutes. It's toasty. Yeah, I think we're looking at like 103 today. Sun beating down on us. No excuses though. This is real life concealed carry situation. Sir, don't shoot. My hands are up. Stand by. 205, first shot 153. Okay, what are some other weird positions someone might have you in? With the shirt? 205, 159. Let's see how fast we can shoot them. The poppers? I meant the guns. The guns, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Stand by. One Charlie, 215. Um, you know what we also failed to mention is that we grabbed ammo just from a random ammo cam that I had. So we've got my competition 147, Blazer 115, 
Max Tech 124, and some like federal 147 law enforcement ammo that I got from the North Dakota training. So we have four different types of ammo in these mags. I don't know if you guys could hear it. I could definitely feel it, but it's a little bit spicy. Yeah, it's, I'm feeling it, it. It keeps you on your toes. Yeah. That's really what we're going for. And this is why grip is so important. No matter what ammo you're using, a good grip will mitigate that recoil for you. Stand by. 209. 209. There we go. There's a couple of them. I, I want a sub two. All right. I want a sub two. Stand by. All right. One on the line, 188. One on the line, 188. Feeling great. We're going to tape them. Coda's going to rip it. Shooter ready. Stand by. Oh. Woo, 266. Little struggle bus this, on the first shot. This comp is so flat. I'm not used to shooting ported guns. Looks flat. I yeah. hope the camera gets it. Stand by. 203. Dude, that gun does not move at all for you. Oh, man. This is fun. I like this. Stand by. Too Oof. flat. Got a little wild there. A little wild. A little wild child. That's all right. We're Sub two. Fun. We're just goof. We're just new boot goof. Sub two on a stock trigger. Let's do it. Stand by. Oh. Woo, 237. I like it. You know, first thing I'm noticing about these dots is how crisp that circle is. Absolutely. On. So I have it on setting 10 right now, all the way up. Because I can't see shit. Uh, but what I'm noticing is that there's little to no star, uh, starburst on it. Absolutely. So on my 507 comp SRO, which are like the primary optics I used before, um, I run max brightness because I'm colorblind and I use like the hue difference rather than the color or the shape. But this one is like a perfect circle for me. Yeah, I'm not. Even I'm not I'm pushing brightness and like we have, we actually have uh, we have these two. I've got another one at home, and uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like when we switch gun. Actually, let's go ahead. We'll just switch now. And we'll see for the next drills um, to see if the circle is the same. Because one thing I saw with some other companies is inconsistencies of dot shape and starburst between yeah. like different 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 ones of the same model. So like I'd get one that's really good or whatever, and I'd be cherry picking them for my match guns. Where I'm like, this one looks good to me. I'm going to use this one. But so far on that, I mean, just a perfect circle. And uh, when we get into these next drills, I'll take a look at this one. But very pleased with it so far. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. We're going to tape. They fuck. I want one. We're doing a little moving and shooting. One thing that really just grinds my gears, especially on Instagram with some of the tactical guys, they don't show their hits. The average person who doesn't understand thinks that that's realistic. Yep. But what we did is we have a variety of difficulties of targets. That little stripe being the hardest one. Come, come close on this one. This is technically a legal target for Ipsic because it's only taking up 50% of the A zone, but it only leaves us these little slivers here, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six targets, two shots apiece, five points for alphas, three points for charlies, one points for deltas. We've got two steel for five points. So that's, uh, what is that, 60 points? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 points with the steel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the left barrel here, and we are just going to slowly walk down range while engaging these targets until we get to this barrel. And then we're gonna do a hit factor on it because we're real shooters that show their hits. All right, seven six two by fifty one. I like three oh eight. I'll tape Seven, behind you. Two alphas. We got two Charlies, which is minus four. We've got two alphas. We've got one Charlie. We've got one Charlie. Two alphas. So sixty two points total. Divided by seven six two. Nice. For an eight one three hit factor. Not bad. You saw Dakota follow through some makeup shots and it wasn't just like C Brown, pull the trigger twice, keep moving, not showing hits. Charlies are real. Makeups on steel are real. This is real. Being able to call your hits is super important. Um, being able, I, anybody can get on a gun and blast the trigger as fast as they want, but knowing what happens after you pull the trigger, I think that's the most, one of the most important skills you can have. Yeah, that, that will separate you uh, in your skill development is being able to call your shots and diagnose 
uh, why you missed that shot as well. For sure. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Stand by. Eight seventy two. This gun has no recoil. It's kind of weird. It it honestly surprised me because I was anticipating so much more, yeah. and it just like it feels like a twenty two. Yeah, ab absolutely. It's crazy. It's okay, for, for a nine mil gun. It shoots fantastic. Seventy. We got two alphas. We've got one Charlie. We've got two alphas. Oh, just outside. Minus four for two. Line breaker. We got 64, what was the time? 872. This is a 732. Dang, you really smoked me on this. You almost okay, got what can I say? full hit factor. I wanna rematch. I wanna rematch. All right, hey, how about this? We'll switch guns. No, 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 we'll do it again. Oh, you wanna just do it again, all right? We'll do it again. I don't give a heck. I got you think this. I, you think, think I give a heck? I'm fine. Stand by. Six seventy-seven. That was fast. That was a fast one. Stationary for the first three targets. Let's see. Seventy minus four alphas minus four. Alphas, alphas, you got 62 points again. Divided by 6.77 for a 9-1. God damn it, I have to go fast. This kid's keeping me honest. He's younger than me. He's taller than me. He's got more hair than me. And I've got to have bigger, really? Show me. Woo, 7.15. His look good there too. Yeah. He might have me on that. Yeah, you, you tell me you got a bigger dick than me, I say you're lying. <laughs> 70, ugh. The Charlie's there, alphas, 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 alphas. 66, what was it, 715? Yeah. 92, suck my dick. Suck my dick. Look at me. I shoot full time as a professional shooter and I beat you by a tenth of a hit factor. <laughs> this one also has a nice clear circle. Yeah. No, uh, and like talking about the recoil on the ported gun again, it doesn't move out of the window. Like no. I can normally keep the dot in my window on my five inch competition gun, but that thing, it's like the slide isn't even moving. It's yeah. amazing. One thing I noticed too with the very large window is that like, it makes it a lot easier to call your shots because your window's staying in the same spot. I'm tracking that dot all the way back down to where it hit. So like, especially on that little thin fucker yeah. and the uh, silhouette, yep. I could see that I got the shots in the black and I could just make it up pretty easily. And so having that big window, I think also helps with transitions because like I'm starting to pick up the target Sooner. inside of the window as I'm transitioning over. Absolutely. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I didn't think that that having the big window coming from an SRO would really make a difference. I am noticing quite a bit of difference. Huh. I wonder how this works for strong hand, weak hand. I guess there's only one way to find out. Popper, two shot slasher, popper for hit factor, time, strong hand only. <laughs> 320. So we don't like those around here. Smith and Wesson only, baby. Five. You got five hit factor. That's satisfying, dude. Five. 328 with two alphas. He won. <laughs> Good for you. Hey, come on. Ah! 6.09, baby. That's what I'm talking nice. about. There's so much. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. We can, we can. Stand by. Oh. Shit. Just run it again. Oh. 492 with another mic. I gave him a second chance. What are you? 
I gave it, him it a was, second was chance. A... So that's like, that's, I mean, it's, it's not even worth calculating. It's going to be, we'll do it just for fun. We'll do it just for fun. It's fine. 20 points, minus five for the alpha he didn't get, minus 10 for the penalty, which is five. He got five points divided by 4.92 for a 1.01 hit factor. Three sixty-eight, two alpha. Whoop! That's in two sixty-eight, two alpha. That's what I'm talking about. These big windows. Oh, I'm, 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 it's three sixty-eight. Oh, three sixty-eight, three sixty-eight. My bad. Excuse me. Twenty five four three. Still better than his strong hand. If you like this belt hat, funniest comment, I'll send you a hat. These aren't for sale. You just gotta make me laugh or Dakota laugh. Yeah. We're using the Constantine carry belt. Uh, with some tier one holsters, stretchy belt, concealed carry belt. It's the best way to support the channel. Grab one of these belts. It's one of the best. Dakota was one of my prototype testers. Yeah, I had one of the original three. This is actually one of the original three belts over three years old now. Yeah. A, Still a going strong. Four. And if you notice, he's wearing it with shorts without belt loops this whole day. Stretchy pants. So like ladies, leggings, dresses, gentlemen, leggings, dresses. You could wear them. No problem. No belt loops. No Whatever problem. Whatever yeah. We don't judge around here as long as you buy a belt. Target. We're just going to do transitions. Oh, all the big way wide ones? Huh? Oh, like suicide? Yeah, so start here, all the way over, back, with the steel as well. Okay. I'll demo. Okay. Cool. Stand by. Got it. 853. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. Oh shit. Char oh no! Charlie Mike. Minus five, minus ten. That target is absolutely diabolical. Diabolical. And a Charlie back here for a 53 points. Divided by 853. 621 hit factor. I hate this target. Yeah, I'm I really not a fan. Reverse I don't know why fucks. you would do that. That's why we buy them. Guys, if you're practicing on open targets and not doing any hard covers or no shoots, you're wrong. That shit's easy. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Shoot some hard cover. You don't need to buy the painted ones. You can paint them yourself. You can tape them. Yeah. You can even just draw a line and just say I'm shooting on this side of the target. Or you can just buy the painted ones if you're lazy like me. Shoot it right. Stand by. Eight eighty, dude. That gun does not move. Eight eighty, yeah. Insane. Two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, alpha Charlie. Two alpha, 68 points, divided by 880, 7.72. Dude, I was getting Dude, caught I up. almost had you. We can do it one more time. See if you don't get lost this time. Okay. I do want to say with the Defender, talking about those transitions again, man, the window, it just tracks so well. You yeah, just throw I, the gun where you want it and then the dot follows. It's absolutely amazing. I, and with is, the brightness that the Defender allows, it's super nice. Yes. It just tracks amazing. I was noticing too, like if I'm transitioning to like this target here, if I try to stop my dot right here and like that's where I'm initiating like my inertia to stop, you're gonna drag past it. So like I'm picking up the target in my window somewhere on this side, slowing down and then confirming my dot right here for these shots. And so that's, that's something interesting that this window allows you to do. Stand by. Shooting out of order. 1064. You went steel, ba 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 ba. You made this transition right here. I probably did that. I don't care. 1064 with a reload. You got one Charlie. Two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two Charlie, two alpha, three Charlies for 64 points. 601. Stand by.
1071. I definitely don't think you needed that makeup, but I didn't call it. I think I, the gun's a little loud with the comp. Yeah. And I don't have my ears turned on because naturally my batteries are dead and I didn't bring any, even though these are some fancy ass ops cores. Checks out. Naturally. Um, but yeah, okay. Two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha. Two alpha, two alpha, clean. 1071. Six five with the reload. As I'm warming up on this, this is the first time shooting this carry comp gun as well. And first time on the XLs and I'm liking it. Okay, it's warming up to me. This is a factory trigger. I normally shoot Apex, but I gotta say, Smith did an excellent job on the new M2.0 triggers. It's way better than the hinge trigger. If you watch your anthem, it, the m and has passed all of its tests M with flying colors. Dude. Mud, ice, drop test, m and is at the top. That's why we are the gang. That's why it's the superior pistol. Yeah, yeah. you wanna see a real drop test? Ooh, toasty. All right, I have not tried this from concealed yet, um, but we're gonna start at this barrel and we've got the mini popper behind the wall and we're gonna start butt touching barrel, draw, one shot from the right, one shot from the left, one shot from the right. Now here's the tricky part. Five second part time. All right, five seconds. We'll see what happens. I haven't done this drill in so long, but I thought about it. Stand by. How did he do it? How does he, how does he keep getting away with this? <laughs> Yes! All right, I'm done. Dakota, you're up. <laughs> Shoot it ready. Stand by. Oh! Final was a 550. Ah! Third shot was a 513. He can't keep getting away with this, guys. He can't keep getting away with this. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Dakota's got that dog in him. Fuck you! That was a 494 if you would have connected. Again! It's hot. I'm out of ammo. Can I borrow a mag? This is why all your friends need to shoot M&P. You should borrow their mags. Mag me, bro! Shoot it ready. Stand by. <clears throat> Yes! Yes, what do you think it is? 487. 475. Woo, let's go, baby. Smoking, dude. Takes me a second to get there, but I got there. That's all that matters is getting there. Oh. It's a little fun burner. Yeah? yeah, I like that. Okay, just some stats about the optic for you guys, because that's that's essentially why you guys are here outside of just seeing what we think about them, but it's got 25,000 hour battery life. It's got a quick, open battery hatch just like the delta points which is super nice for changing batteries no silly tools or anything like that you can just do it with your hands no problem um it's got 10 brightness settings the last the bottom two are night vision compatible uh like we said it gets super bright unreasonably bright almost it's mm -hmm. which is never a bad thing yeah and one little feature i like too is auto shut off so if the gun's not moving after 10 minutes it will shut off and it has auto awake so if you have it in your safe or your nightstand or whatever you're doing with it, it will save your battery life, extending that 25,000 hours. There's a um, law enforcement officer, I think it was in Mesa, maybe Phoenix. He couldn't figure out why his SIG optic was running out of battery in like two weeks, three weeks, run max brightness. Got auto, or maybe it was a hollow sun, I don't know. But either way, um, he had an oscillating fan on his nightstand. So every time he put his gun onto the nightstand, the vibrations from the fan kept the dot on. And he was losing his <laughs> mind trying to figure out why his battery was dying. So uh, there's some quirky things like that where like just be aware, like if your gun, yeah. if you're relying on that dot and the auto shut off to keep that battery saved, save that battery life. And one thing I think a lot of people don't think about when they're looking at that 25,000 hour battery life, is that's on the middle setting. So like if you do leave it on your nightstand at like full brightness or whatever, understand that it's not gonna last that full 25,000 mm -hmm. hours and just, you know, take a, take, take note of that and like maintain your guns and change your batteries at a more regular yeah. uh, frequency. If uh, that's, that's what you're going to do. Yep. And a lot of these dots will last and uh, 
Typically speaking, I'll change a lot of my dot, my batteries before major matches just in case. Or like if it's been a few months and I've got, like I've got Australasia, I don't know by the time this video comes out if I've shot it or I'm going to shoot it, but I'll probably have shot it. But like that's an international match, 1200 competitors um, all the way in Bali, which is crazy. But I completely maintenance my guns, replaced a bunch of small parts, even if I didn't need to, just so the guns are fresh and ready to go. Yeah, 100%. Except for the buffer in my PCC. We don't talk about that. Yeah because it's a PCC. Honestly, I just, I want some more opinions. We're gonna do a cameraman reveal right now. Give me that. Everybody, this is also Hunter. All right. Pass me a loaded gun. Dude. He don't miss. I'm not this good. This is, this is doing a lot of work for me. Vortex Defender XL, what do you think? I think I'm gonna get rid of my Holosun for this and put my Holosun on my other gun. This, I mean, I've actually never seen a dot this, I mean, is this on 10? Uh, check it out. It is, dude, that's ridiculous. There's zero starburst and it's like, it's bright and it is ridiculously bright out. Another thing I don't think we talked about is the front is like knurled and it looks you, ridiculously You can rack durable. it off stuff. What? You can rack it off stuff. Yeah, are we doing it? Are we destroying one of these? Not, not at Pima, unfortunately. Pima does not like us doing torture tests here for some reason because it's a bad image for the range and there's fire bans. So the torture test will have to come in the fall once the fire bans are. I subsided. think this one is going to be the new winner. This looks like a tank. It's dude. beefy, dude. Yeah. It's a beefy, it's a beefy five layer burrito. Dude, and it's the window is huge. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm average height. I am Jeremy. I feel average height. Shut up. Listen, we wanted to we wanted to grab another opinion. We're just pulling people in from the range. We got the camera guy on. We got Jeremy. Disregard Bob on his shirt. You can call me Bob. Yeah, you can call him anything as long as you buy him dinner. Um here we go. MMP9 Metal Comp Vortex Defender XL. Feels like an MMP. Hell yeah, it does. Jeremy was an MMP enjoyer before he crossed sides. No, no, I was CZ first and then MMP. And then now I dabble in both. Well, you're returning back home. Am I though? I, I, how many rounds are in there? Big man, weak hands. Yeah. Lose the dot. There it is. It does feel Look pretty, at that control. It does feel pretty soft. What do you think of the dot? The dot's fine. The gun actually feels pretty good. Okay. How, what do you what do you run on your guns right now? SRO. How do you compare this to the SRO? I like the square glass more than the round glass, honestly. Why? Can't tell you why. Okay. It's new. Cool. What else? Anything else? Anything else you want to add about it? It's a black gun. Looks nice. It's no CZ, but. Oh, whoa! Give me that out. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom. All right. Lots of drills. Lots of rounds. We shot almost like 600 rounds or so today. Yeah. Yeah. Getting close there. Give or take, um, some precision stuff, some speed stuff, some movement, uh, but the dot kept holding up. And for all of you who are saying that this is just like a shill review, it's just a good dot. Like all the dots on the market are good for the most part. Yeah. Like the SRO, the they're... 507 Comp, this new XL, like they're all good. So like it's hard to say something bad about them. I don't. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of the options. Like you're saying, 507 Comp, the SRO. Even though some people are saying the SRO is a little dated at this point. It still works great. I still yeah. run one on my comp guns. Pretty much, I would say 50% of people you see running dots are SROs, unless they're brand new guns. Yep. Um, these Defender XLs, I really love how bright that dot gets, uh, especially being in Arizona in the middle of the summer. I do find the brightness on the SRO a little lacking at times. Mm -hmm. um, especially on the smaller dots. Like if you're with a one MOA or 2.5. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm not normally a fan of like a five MOA, but Honestly, I didn't even notice it. Um, I don't think it really matters. Uh, but that brightness, the size of the window, yeah. And like uh, everybody was saying, there's no um, starburst. No starburst, even at Mac brightness. Uh, honestly, these dots are great. Um, I'm very, 
curious to see how they hold up um, yeah. over time, but based on the STs, those seem to be holding up great. If these are anything similar, uh, yeah. These are going to be one to one to watch. And we will be doing a torture test sometime in the future once fire bans are lifted here in Arizona. Um, another thing, we've been comparing them. So we're going to cut to a couple of B-roll clips of this XL compared to an SRO and a 507 comp so you can see the window sizes and um, just kind of play around from that. Another point I want to mention on this is the price. Okay, it retails like around 400 bucks, which is coming in cheaper. Then the SRO, it's right around the 507 comp price, but street price with discounts, I've seen them on Reddit gun deals for $300, which in my mind makes this one of the best value Dodge you can have. It also comes with a, uh, I think it's an absolute zero pick mount. Yeah. Comes with like six, six different screws for manufacturers. So like when I installed this on these M&Ps, I use screws provided. And what I like about Vortex is they literally give you the manufacturer's name on it, not just the specs of the screws. Yeah, they so label the bag. It's super nice. Makes it really, really easy to install. Makes everything super fast. Yep. Um, what else does it come with? Comes with an MOS plate for Glock. Yep. Um, and uh, you get a battery. You get an optics cover, which yeah, is somewhere, somewhere around, around the there. range here, but it's a little rubber cover. Great if it's raining out, like on for matches and stuff, you can cover your optics. You don't get water on the lens. But the quick change battery is probably the best feature on it. And um, if we come in close here, we just need something to, to press the dot down with. So you just press this in, battery flips up, just like that. Down, forward, locked in. But so yeah, quick change battery, super easy, super nice values there. Um, can't wait to torture test this thing and really see what type of abuse it can do. If you guys haven't seen the Defender ST video, it is ridiculous. We dragged the gun behind the truck. We smashed rocks. I hit it with a shovel. We put it in jello. And they actually rewrote some of their warranty policy to include <laughs> jello now. So it Vortex has a lifetime warranty. So if you destroy the dots, we destroyed the dots in the video. I mean, abuse them, okay? We destroyed them. And they replaced it for us. Yeah. No questions asked. That's that is a, that is a super nice thing about Vortex is I've never seen a warranty get turned down even for just blatant abuse and misuse honestly of the optic. Mm -hmm. Even still, they replaced it. Um, so that is a big perk to Vortex in my eyes. Yeah. And like I run Vortex on my multi-gun rifle. Um, I've got some other Vortex optics, but again, like there's so many good options out there that like you almost can't go wrong unless you use Sig optics. Yeah, you'll get that. They break. A lot. And their warranty is... Actually, They'll replace it, it, but it's a bit of a pain. Yeah. Anyway. We digress. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Support the channel. Grab a belt. Leave a comment. Make us laugh. Win a hat. Go belt. follow... Belt. Follow, and follow Dakota. Uh, do all the stuff. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.